Hello, my beautiful friends. I'm Janet. Welcome to my channel, where I hope to inspire you to create a home and a life you love. Well, I am back with an end of the summer thrift haul. So this is going to be all the rest of the things that I got this summer and my final thrift haul of the season before I am back on the job site, finishing the construction that I put on hold over the summer. I know a lot of you have been asking what happened? Where's the rest of your construction journey? We want to see the renovation. And quite frankly, a lot of things went wrong. And I am so busy in the summer with real estate and Airbnb and other things that I just had to put it on hold and decided to go back to it in the fall. It was supposed to be finished in early spring due to the problems it wasn't. And I felt it was best just to wait and start up again in the fall so I could enjoy my summer and not be working 120 hours a week. <laughs> All right, so that's why this is the last thrift haul of the season. I probably won't have very much time for thrifting until I am down to the wire staging the renovation project. And at that point, I may be buying some things, I may be getting some last minute thrifted items, but I've got a whole collection of things for that that you will see when I'm doing the staging. But for now, this is the final one of the season. So. Let's get into it. I'm going to show you everything on the table behind me. How come every time I do a thrift haul, it ends up dark outside? <laughs> it takes a lot to set this all up, break it down, wrap it back up, take it to my basement. So I may have to start just showing you like what I do with my thrifted items, like show them staged, show them in my house as decor, instead of just showing you everything I found. This is a uh, heavy duty, plus it's really hot in here. All right, let's get into it. First, I found a few cute things with roosters. Now, who doesn't love a rooster? All right, I found this cute plate by PY for $1.99. I think they're worth, you know, anywhere from five to 20, maybe 24. Sometimes you see a whole set of these. I just found the one, but I think it's super cute. The rooster and the roses, two things that I really love. I also found this bowl. Uh, it's vintage with roosters on it and the little cute scenes with the people, the farmers and all that. So again, another little rooster item. I also found these coasters that it's a set of four and I'm not sure. I think they were, I don't know if they were 99 cents each. Looks like I took the price tags off. I think they were 99 cents each, but they're sort of like a twall with the rooster scene. So those are super cute. By the way, this bowl was $6.99. Not the biggest deal, but it's in really good shape. It seems brand new, so I did splurge on the $6.99. Um, I did find a little bit of copper again. I had like a copper bonanza all summer. It's slowed down a little bit now, but I found these really cute um, copper forms. This is was $3.99. I found two of these, which I'll be selling at least one of them. And this other one, they're really cute with the brass handles. They were $3.99 each. All right, as you know, I love vases and I love pitchers and I love using pitchers as vases. And you've probably heard me say that before. Um, at the Goodwill, I found somebody's entire collection of Italian vases and a couple from Portugal. Um, this one is Italian and it was $2.99, super cute. A couple of them are not here because I've used them, so I couldn't find them. They're out and about. Um, $3.99, and this one was made in Portugal. It's probably worth about $50. So this was a good find. Just kind of different and unique. Um, I like that one. And then I found this vase with the little blue shells. Super cute, $3.99. Can't wait to make a floral with that. And then I found a set of these. I think I have four total. These were $1.99 at Goodwill. They also have the little seashell on here, and I thought it would be cute with this vase because this has shells as well. So I could do a little dinner with uh, place setting of four and use this as the um, vase on the center of the table. Um, then I also, like, I usually get Ray Dunn if it's something popular and resellable. I'm not a huge Ray Dunn fan. I just know, like, the rest of the world is. And I found these cute um, Christmas cat dishes, Santa Claus and Merry Catmas. So I found these. I do, do stage with Ray Dunn though, I have to say. Um, and then I found a set of four of these for the cottage, rose, 
um, teacups and saucers. These were $1.97 each. Um, and I think they were, they might've been half off, but I found four of these instead of four. I don't remember how much these were. I'm forgetting to tell you because it's like hot and dark already. <laughs> these were $1.99 each, the Ray Dunn bowls. All right, you know if I find transferware, I usually get it. It's very hard to find in my neck of the woods. Um, I thought this was kind of an interesting pattern. Um, there's two of these, they were $1.99 at Goodwill. And I found one blue bowl, thought it was really pretty. I think transferware when it's mismatched, but placed together in a cabinet or on a shelf or in some kind of display or even a table setting where it's mismatched can be really cute. So don't hesitate to buy mismatched transferware. I think it looks really good together. This was $3.99. Then I am going to do a tablescape with this. There are matching bowls and plates, a full set, and these were $6.99 for the plate, $4.99 for the bowl. They may end up in the cottage because I'm doing a lot of blue and a lot of roses there, but I think these would be really cute for a place setting or a little table, um, a tablescape and using these as the place setting. I have that spode tablecloth that you may have seen in another thrift haul video, and I'm gonna do a little table setting using that and these dishes. I also found these uh, 99 cents each, and there was a set of four cups and saucers. And again, with the mismatched theme, I think these would be cute even with those dishes that I just showed you together. Like, why not? This would be a really cute breakfast because there's bowls and plates. And put that all together. And then I also found the sugar, which is hard to find because a lot of times the lids are broken or missing. Now I just have to find the creamer. And this was $2.99. This is that uh, Finlandia, um, and it's uh, made in England. All right. Um, I found these little trays. They were kind of interesting. I don't know if anybody knows anything about them. Let me know. On the back, it just says um, <laughs> alcohol proof, high quality alcohol proof, made in Japan. They were 99 cents each but I just thought they were really cute little trays. I don't know if I'll use them in the cottage or if I'm gonna sell these, but I think they would just be really cute with like some perfume bottles on them, or it could be um, like a cup and a glass, like a glass for drinking water and a, like a bottle and a glass of water on the nightstand. I just thought these were like super cute. I also found a set of these Greek Key um, coffee mugs, which I think are adorable. And they were $1.99 each. Um, I don't remember the brand. I want to say they were like from Neiman Marcus or something, but um, I'll pop it up on the screen if I can look it up and remember. But they do have the, the same logo on the bottom of the glass. But as usual, I'm not wearing my glasses and I can't read that. All right. Now, oh, this also was with the Italian vases collection that I found at Goodwill. This is a Terraco terracotta um, Italian um, pitcher, and it was only $2.99. I just love this. I think this is gorgeous. You can just see how it was um, made, and it's just beautiful and really high quality. Then I also found this. I think it was $2.99, and this is a prairie fire uh, pottery piece, just $2.99, small, really cute for those pottery fans out there. And then I found this art glass fruit. This is um, a set of, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, a set of eight vegetables. Oh, I guess it's vegetables, not fruit. No, no, it's a mix because there's grapes there and there's a tomato. Um, they were $1.99 each, art glass, and um, these might be worth... I'd say 25 to 50 for the set, but I got them really just for staging because I mean, look how cute they look in a bowl and for staging, you know, you don't want to use real fruit or you have to constantly go and refresh it while the house is on the market. And so I thought this would be really cute in a bowl on a table or a countertop for staging. And um, I have them in this dough bowl. Um, that was, I was either 2.99 or 3.99, really nice wood bowl. 
And then I just want to talk a minute about baskets. I like to collect and use baskets that sort of look French, kind of old world. I have a certain look that I go for in terms of baskets. Um, I found this one for $1.99, had the coasters in it. And I frequently use them to put potted plants in. You can just put a plastic liner or plastic grocery bag on the inside and kind of um, stick it down in there so you don't see it. Fill that plastic with dirt or put an actual plastic pot or even a clay pot, whatever kind of pot you want inside the basket to hide the pot. The basket's really pretty. I like using those outdoors on my steps. They get kind of rained on and fade when you keep them out all summer. And so that's why I like thrifting them because I just replenish them and use them again. You know, the next year I'll use a fresh one to look better. Or if I want to use a basket with a flower arrangement or a plant indoors, then I have like a really nice new clean basket. I never buy a basket if it's broken at all. So if I choose to resell a basket, I don't want to sell any with broken pieces. So it could be an end piece that came undone and frayed. It could be something that got damaged um, just in the transport to and from the thrift store. But anytime anything's broken, damaged, dinged, I don't get it. Um, this one I think was really cute because I just see so many uses for this basket. It's kind of got like a crock type of shape. And so I think this would be great with like a ton of um, a to big topiary or some herbs um, spilling out or ivy. So I think this would be really great with um, plants in it, but this could also have firewood. You could even use this for laundry and carry it up and down. Um, uh, I thought of putting this in my kitchen just to put like my my dirty um, placemats, napkins, and all that in here, and then to be able to carry it down to the laundry room to wash the linens. So there's like many uses for baskets, and I think they're so cute to decorate with. Um, and then I also found this one, which I think is cute to use a basket sort of as a tray. So I have the um, pitcher in it, but you could put a pitcher and a couple of glasses for your drinks and serve things in this as if it's a tray. And you can, you know, transport, carry things out with it. So I think that baskets can be really cute trays, or you can put it as a tray on your coffee table and put a few other things in it, or even stick your books in it. So I just like, I'm a big fan of baskets and using baskets to decorate with, especially in the kitchen and especially in the garden. All right. I, I have two final things, and I also have to check the table to make sure that I didn't forget anything last time I actually forgot one item. All right, I found this and it was $6.99. Corky, this is my video. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, this was $6.99 and I think I got it even though I have like two other ones that I can use for parties. One is really small, one is like a really big one. And I think these are great to put like bottles of wine, beer bottles, even cans of soda with, you know, ice at a party. And I thought this one was so cute because it has the little like lion claw feet. And uh, on this side, it has like, you know, pretend spout, but it's sealed shut, which is actually uh, preferred for me because then I can fill this with ice. Nothing will drip out. So now I have a third one if I want to have one for wine, one for beer bottles and that kind of thing and another one for soda. So if I'm throwing a big party or an event, I can load up drinks in these. It's much cuter than like a red plastic cooler or whatever on your, you know, patio or backyard or, or whatever. So I think these are like super cute uh, for events and parties to use. All right, let me see here. Scan this. I think I showed you everything and I got one final thing that's really out of character for me, but I just couldn't resist. I had to get my little Yoda here. He's actually a backpack. Um, you know, carry Yoda on your back. Anyway, I just thought he was so cute. He's, he's brand new. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna find some kid who likes Yoda and give him this backpack. It was $9.99, I looked it up. He's worth a lot more. So I just thought this was so cute. And I gotta tell you, I had a kick out of driving around in my car with him in the back seat because when people would look in my car and they'd see him sitting on the back. 
it was really funny. So it was amusing. So I've had a good time with him. I got my $10 worth driving around with him. But anyway, Yoda and Corky both say goodbye. That is the end of this thrift haul. And what do you got to say, Corky? Are you going to talk to the people now? Are you going to talk to the people now? Huh? Let them see you. Come here. Yeah, pause up. Here's my little Corky boy. I didn't find anything for you. But you could drink water out of this bowl. All right. Well, Corky and I are happy that you joined us today, and we will see you in the next trip haul. Right? Right? Yes, you said you're a good boy. You said you're a good boy. Thank you so much for joining me today on my final thrift haul of the summer season. I think I found a few cute things. And now I'll be heading back to the construction site to finish the interior renovation of my project. It has been a ride and I'm sure it's gonna continue that way until the end. That's just the nature of construction. But anyway, I look forward to you coming along and seeing you there on the construction journey to finish the renovation project. Until then, ciao for now.